It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Mark Foxell, who is with UNO's School of Criminology and Criminal Justice. So Mark, today's question is, what does policing look like in the future? Hello, Brandon. Thank you for inviting me to uh, be present today and, and speak on a very important topic. Uh, the question of what will the police, what will policing look like into the 21st century is a very important one. I think you will find that uh, that issue is on the minds of many different community members, police officials, and political uh, appointees or representatives all across the country. I'm fairly well positioned to answer that question in as much as I started out in this criminal justice business, business almost 40 years ago. I started as a young police officer in Omaha, I went on to the FBI and finished my uh, career in, uh, as a director of the Douglas County Department of Corrections. Presently, I'm a, uh, on faculty at the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice at the University of Nebraska in Omaha. So, policing in the 21st century. Um, I think that you will find police officers will be working more with community-based organizations. Police officers have uh, been called upon uh, for a number of different things as a result of the advent of, of, of 911. 911's been around since 1968, uh, late, late 60s, early 70s. And as much as they've been called upon to respond to everything from, hey, my cat's stuck in the tree, or can you make Johnny do his homework to clearing that call and going on to a shots fired, nature unknown, uh, homicide call, police officers have to be everything and anything. And they have to be experts in it. At least that's what the expectation is for them. Uh, police officers uh, don't necessarily have uh, a level of expertise in all of the things that they're required to do. But one of those issues is mental people addressing people who are in mental health crisis. That's a huge concern today as there's more mentally ill people in crisis in our community than there was uh, 15, 20, 25, 30 years ago. I think police officers, uh, they're working towards this end, but they have to do a better job uh, partnering, collaborating with the experts in the field as they respond to these types of calls. Security is important. I'm not saying that that uh, uh, relying upon uh, the experts in the field negates the need for uh, uh, the police to provide safety in response to that call. But once uh, that scene is secure, that uh, psychiatrist, psychologist, uh, licensed mental health provider, licensed clinical social worker can step up and then help uh, address the issues of that person that's in crisis. Also, we, we live in a world where a lot of inner city communities uh, are, uh, require a lot of different types of issues that, again, the police aren't necessarily expert uh, to deal with. That requires more cooperation with community-based organizations in the community so that they're more preventative and less uh, uh, and less reactive. That's a complex issue, but if you want to get a hold of me for some more questions or more discussion, please feel free to reach out to me, www.unomaha.edu. Thank you, Mark, for sharing your expertise on this topic. For our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts. If you have a question you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com and click on the Access the Experts links to submit your question. I'm Brandon Aximit. We'll see you next time. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.